Hey, what was up? What's up? What's up? It's Danielle again, Sports. And today I wanted to um, just talk about Tuesday and Wednesday and how everything went. Um, I know I said I was going to update you guys every day on this, but between Monday and Tuesday, there were there were not many changes. Uh, Monday for me was just processing everything, writing everything down as to what I wanted to get accomplished as far as now and future. Um, things I should be doing. So, let's talk about yesterday. Tuesday, um, when I got off, um, came home. Oh, yeah, let me back up. So, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday so far, today's Wednesday, I write down, once I get to work in the morning, I write down things I need to get done. And once I get home, if indeed I do not have a client, I come and get those things done. Put a check next to it, move on to the next thing. Now, um, I can also tell you from yesterday, I got everything completed. I did, except for one thing. I was supposed to make a video, um, a highlight video, just of, you know, training and stuff like that. That I didn't do. I should have done it, but I didn't. Um, I think that, well, I know that's the only thing that I did not do. So I had a list of things, got it all completed. Um, as far as the TV, I didn't come home and have the urge to even turn on the TV. Like, to be honest. Usually in the mornings I get up, turn on the news, watch whatever's going on in this crazy world, and start my day. I really didn't have the urge Tuesday. I really didn't have the urge today. Um, it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that's a good thing that I didn't have the urge to even cut the TV on or anything like that. So, for Tuesday, I got everything that I wanted to get done. Um, and let's just talk about social media again. If indeed I were to scroll up and down on Facebook and just scroll up and down on um, Instagram and have the TV on, I wouldn't have got none of that stuff completed. And it's just, it's just the honest truth. I wouldn't have got it done. So, <clears throat> this is a very good process for me. Um, helping me understand myself and understand how much potential I have and what I do. I know the game of basketball. I don't know every <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know everything, of course. No one knows everything. Except this boy right here. Kobe. But anyway, um like I don't know everything. Of course, I'm still learning. But for these younger kids, high school, middle school, even college, like I've been there, so I know. You know, um I know my time is coming. That's why I continue to do what I do. Um, but I was happy that I got everything, you know, on that list completed and it was done. Let's see. Today, like I said, I woke up today, didn't really have the urge to cut on the TV, scroll up and down Facebook or anything like that. Um, again, I made my list this morning at work. I just got done playing basketball, so I'm just now getting to the house. So I have a list of things to do now. Um, so I will get to those things here in a few. But I like the fact that I'm checking stuff off, checking it off, checking it off. And that's what this whole process for me is about. Um, praying and, you know, of course, fasting on certain things, but me getting things done. Me knowing that I'm checking it off, checking it off, checking it off, I feel good. Regardless of the outcome of that situation, I feel good. And I think for me, you know, a couple months ago, a couple months ago when I first started this training thing, I kept hearing a lot of no's. And it's like, okay, well, why even, you know, why, why go ask this next person about this gym? Why? And for me, I keep saying that for me, but... I was able to 
still send out emails. And, that, and that's one thing I had on my list is uh, make sure you send out so many emails. And I have a certain amount that I want to want to send each day. I have a certain amount of applications I want to fill out each day. And I make sure I do that um, regardless of the outcome. Yes, no, maybe. I really don't care. Well, I do care. But the no's no longer affect me. It's like, okay, I did my job for the set day. Um, as long as I know I'm putting in work, it's, it, it will not affect me if if I keep hearing these no's. You know, um, deep down inside, I know I did my job. I did my part. So for me, I'm, I'm able to send multiple emails, emails that I probably should have sent a long time ago. Never got around to it. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I'll do it the next day. You know, I'll do it the next day. And never get it done. So without this TV and this social media business, I'm able to get what I need to get done. <laughs> and it's just that simple. And, it, and it's crazy because social media can really just take us to a whole nother planet. Like, once we get on Facebook and or Instagram, it's like we're here. Here. Right here. And we stay here. When we have other stuff to do that's here, here, and here, and here, and here. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have so many things that we can be doing, but we're so fascinated with looking at these celebrities' stuff on Instagram. But like, even for me, I'm like, ooh, that's nice. Let me see what's going on. I scroll down, up and down the whole, 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 whole page looking at their pictures. When I should have been sending emails and getting making phone calls. You see what I'm saying? Like, and the younger kids are so, ooh, you know, really, they look up to most of these rappers. And, I mean, you know, it's, we did it too. But we were, were more smarter. Um, I really think that, you know, a lot of the, you know, these celebrities are, are setting, you know, bad examples. Not a lot of them, but most of them. Like, you have money. Set examples. Why are you still beefing with this person? And Because then the kids think it's cool. Like, these kids really think it's cool that you're beefing with each other. You're shooting up stuff. Like, come on, now. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and for me, it, it felt good not being on social media and trying to figure out who's about to battle who or who has beef with who. Like, I haven't even seen anything. Like, I've he been hearing stuff about, you know, Meek Mill and stuff like that. And that was before I really started fasting. But I'm hearing more and more stuff. And it's like, I'm glad I'm not even paying attention to it. Because I was following it. <laughs> I was following it. Um, very interesting. Why? I don't know. But, um, anyway, back to what I was saying. I so for today, like I said, I have a, a list of things that I'm going to get done. So if you're out there fasting and trying to figure out where to start, I say just write down goals that you have. Write down things that you really want to get done. Check it off. You don't have to move at a fast pace. Make sure you check it off. Give yourself maybe two days. Hey, I need to get this done in these two days. I have to get these things done. Because um, now I feel bad if I don't get them done. Before that, it was like, okay, whatever. Let me just scroll up and down here. Let me let me see what's on here for no good reason. Um, so like I said, and for me, it's not. There's not been a big, big, big change. I do find myself praying more, which you know that's why I'm doing this. But I'm actually taking the time out to speak to him. It's not like a. Thank you for the food I'm about to eat. Thank you, amen. <laughs> I really sit there and talk to him about, you know, things that I've done in the past, um, stuff I've said in the past, and asking him to forgive me for some of those things, which I know he will. So for me, I feel better. Like things in the past, things I've done, said, people I've hurt, I'm over that. I, I, I've done it. I've you know, held it on my chest for so long, and I knew what I did. I knew it was wrong, half of the stuff that I did, said, 
whoever I was mean to, I know it. But I no longer carry that on my chest. So I feel so good, honestly. Like today, I was reading my book, my But God book from, you know, Pastor Cooper, People's Church, shout out. But that book I should have completed a long, long time ago. And not now, during my prayer, you know, praying time, I pray and I read the book. There are a lot of good things in that book. A lot, lot, lot of good things in that book. And I no longer can hold any of that on my chest. And I won't. And I feel good. <laughs> like, honestly, like, I feel good about myself right now. Um, there are tons of things that I still need to get done and um, get accomplished, but that'll come. I know what I want to do, and I know I'm going to get there. So, like I said, all you young, younger ones out there, put your phone down for a second. Put it down. Um, figure out what you want to do in life. Figure it out. Um, a little juice. Figure it out, but... Um, I, I like this life. I, I really do. I really do. Um, like, I'm not missing out on anything. And I'm building what I want to want to build. And that's being sports. I know what these kids need when it comes to basketball. And I know I can give that to them. Like, I know it. And this has been a great process for me. It's Wednesday. And, and I feel good. I really do. Um, I'm doing better at work, which I never was doing bad, but I was on my phone, on my phone, let me get this, let me, on my phone, you know, and now it's just like, let me read my book, make my phone calls, and I'm okay. Another thing that I did change in the morning, I would be in my car at 6.30, why? Listen to the Ricky Smiley show. <laughs> Every day. I'll be mad if I was a little bit late. You know, because hey, Gary with the T, see what, he, see what his messy self has to say. But I've taken that out as well. Like in the mornings, that's my time to sit there and, t and talk to God. Talk to him about things that I, you know, I want to get done and just talk to him. Just talk to him, to be honest. And I feel good. It's not, oh... Let me hurry up and cut on the Ricky Smiley show. Excuse me. It's let me talk to God. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. That's another thing that I did change. What else? What else? Basically, the bottom line is I'm getting stuff done. I'm getting stuff accomplished. I'm, I'm talking, to, talking to him and letting him know, you know, certain things that I've never, never was able to say. And in this book, hold on, oh, I'm getting old. Oh, oh, I'm getting old. So, here's my book, <clears throat> my book, God book, and I was just reading through it, and one thing that really popped out to me was, and I wrote it down, you probably can't see that, but wounded people wound others, whether they tend to or not, so true, so true. And that was me a couple of years ago. I'm not going to sit up here and, you know, act like it wasn't. But reading more into the book, he forgave me. I never forgave myself. And I think a lot of people, we, we hurt this person or whatever the case may be, and we still hold it on our shoulders, like still walk around with it. We can't do that. And, and I no longer will do that. 
and I just feel good. I don't know, y'all. I just feel good. I just feel good. Um, so here's my video for Tuesday and Wednesday. I'll probably make another video Friday. I'm not sure about tomorrow. I may get around to it. I'm not sure. So if you got any questions about praying or fasting, hit me up. Um, one thing that I did do, I did go on YouTube and look look at a di look at a couple other videos. Cause for some reason Monday I felt like I was I was doing everything wrong as far as praying and fasting. But it's really when you need to. When when you feel the urge to, for me, pick up that phone or turn on the TV, no, let me stop and pray. And just Google it as well, and it gives you step-by-step step on how to fast. So, yeah, but anyway, go ahead and pick up the book. This is a real good book. Like I said, I should have been done with it a long time ago, but I still have it, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to read it. But yeah, th this was, this was, this was, was really good. This book helps you open your eyes to different things. Let me stop rambling. Let me stop talking. So, <laughs> my fasting is going great. I'm loving it. Um, that's pretty much it. Just you can comment. If you got any questions, like I said, hit me up. Um, just go to gansports.com, grab your Gansports t-shirt, book your next appointment. I do, you know, speaking engagements. I do um, personal training. I even hold my own classes as far as ball handling. Contact me. I'm in the Oklahoma City area. I travel as well, Dallas, Kansas, wherever. This is what I do. This is what I do. Find me on um, Instagram, Gan Sports. Find me on Yahoo, Gan Sports. Find me on Facebook, Gan Sports. Just go to gansports.com. All right.